Clay, one of the patterns you guys have kind of been establishing throughout this streak is that <clears throat> it seemed like in the third quarter you guys sort of figure some things out. Is it something that goes on at halftime, or is it just which, what's your take on what's going on in that third quarter that has you guys running uh, off from, away from teams? I think uh, we're just embarrassed of the turnovers we threw in the first half. So uh, we will throw some bad ones. I mean, that's why we make so many great plays. But we made that big. We've been making that adjustment, and I mean, um, it's okay if we have. It's not okay, but you can get by with having 16 turnovers if you finish with 35 assists. That's a pretty good ratio. And uh, I thought we did a great job distributing the ball tonight. You, and um, a lot of those turnovers are just mental errors. And we'll, so. As the season gets on, I promise you we'll, make, we'll get better about it. Clay, um, it's a little hard to hear you. Just, just Sorry. To, if I, yep, thank you. Um, what does it say again about your, your guys' depth? Everybody's contributing something when, when Steph's down or Kevin's down or somebody rests, um, yep. just the roster that you guys have. It's what's been able to propel us to three straight finals. I really believe that. Our depths have been incredible. And when you know a guy like Steph's out, who's not really replaceable, but a guy like Sean Livingston comes in and gives us amazing minutes, you know. Six assists, one turnover, plus 16, 16 points. Just a great player, one of the best backups in the NBA. And really knows how to fit in with our team. And, um, yeah, when Steph's out, we can't do it individually. We've got to do it collectively. And it's, it goes for if it was Kevin or Draymond or me or Andre. We just have such a deep team. So we give our front office credit for having that foresight to see in this before the season. Clay, what do you think's been working offensively for Draymond? Uh, his ability to take out big men to the perimeter, and he's so good at getting in the lane and making the right prep, right play. And um, obviously, it's always a bonus when he's hitting threes at such a high clip. I mean, he played great tonight, um, eight for eleven, so efficient. He uh, he's just such a versatile player. I mean, he does it on both sides of the ball. And he's what he what really, he is who really unlocks our offense because we can he's like a point forward out there. Specifically from last year to this year, how much better do you feel as a playmaker and a, and a passer? Um, well, I got to do a little more of it when Steph's out, obviously. But uh, I just like making the right play. You know, I learned that the basketball gods will reward you if you make the right play every time and be patient. And that's what I've done this year, just being patient. I mean, I thought I played well tonight. Um, didn't for, I only had forced maybe one or two shots, and other than that, I thought I played a solid all-around game. You enjoy nights like this when Steph's out, that you get to do that a bit more? No, because when he's out, my job's a lot harder. <laughs> but it's still fun, you know. We, we're blessed to be able to play basketball for a living. Hey, Clay, on that note, with the playmaking, specifically with Sean and Kevin, what did you see out of them and how they approached that area yeah. of the game tonight? Well, they're just great basketball players. They just make the right play every time, or nearly every time. And Sean's been a phenomenal point guard since he was in high school. And Kevin has, you know, great vision. He's set almost seven feet and can see over everybody. Clay, um, the fans get a kick out of this. They know what's going on. Yeah. As, a, as someone who grew up with basketball, and of course, have been here a few years, when things are going well, as, as this team, you know, if all right, Steph wasn't here tonight, but you've done so much. Is it is it just wonderful just to be on the court playing? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, we have the best fans in the in the world, and um, they were here before our success was. And to give them a great brand of basketball, and especially the way we play. I mean, I'm a fan of watching our games just because we play the right way. We always make the extra pass. We're great in transition. We're great on defense, and we obviously have a great shooting team, but um, it's just so rewarding every night. It doesn't matter whether it's the preseason or the finals. Our fans are going to show up, and they're they're always into the game. You know, you go around the arena and you see some of the other teams play the fans. It's kind of quiet in there, but it's never like that a Warriors game. You know, the fans are always engaged, and that does not go unnoticed. Is that it? Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.